Well, hi, 7A parents and students. This is Mr. Pritchard. I'm gonna be your life science teacher this year. So normally my classroom is, pay, is room 125 and I also have the green school room in 102. Uh, and you know, that's where we are when we're in the building. And so hopefully we'll be back there pretty soon. But for now, this is my classroom. I'm sitting here at my desk, just like your kids are sitting at a desk, working inside the house, trying to get good Wi-Fi and to be able to load things and download things and upload things and get on and log on and be able to hear and talk and all those other things. Um, and I find it a challenge just like you and your kids are too. I'm probably my least comfortable in front of the computer and my most comfortable holding a pitchfork in my hands, doing work like this. I'd like to be doing this with your kids, but we're stuck at home. At school, I'd be teaching your kids about ecology right now, taking them outside and putting them out on the trail and letting them see some of the native plants that we've planted over the years and, and looking at some of the projects that students have done through the years and starting to talk about what kinds of projects we want to do this year. There are several of those. Um, we're going to be going into uh, the cell. Uh, we're going to learn about human bodies. We're going to learn about evolution. We're going to finish genetics first, of course. Um, this year is going to be really different, but I'm hoping that we can get back into the classroom soon and do some of those projects. You see, I'm not just a science teacher at Southampton Middle School. I'm also the Green School Coordinator. And I think of projects for students to do that uh, teach environmental stewardship. Things like planting native plants like I did here in my yard, right? And making rain barrels. We make rain barrels at school and they're used for collecting rain in uh, gutters and from the downspout and collecting that water and then being able to access it through a hose bib. The students would learn some plumbing as well as some pretty cool painting techniques. That thing looks like an oak barrel, but it's really a plastic barrel. I bought this rain barrel six years ago from Southampton when my students built it and it's been going pretty well ever since then. If you look, you can even turn on the water, right? Get some water for the cat, wash your hands, do whatever you need to do. In addition to all the planting that we do, we also do wildlife habitat enhancement. So putting in bluebird boxes and bat houses. Your kids will learn about not just enhancing the beauty of an area with native plants, like with this native honeysuckle that I've got here at my house, but also how this can attract hummingbirds because they can stick their long beaks up inside of there and, and suck the nectar out of that honeysuckle. And no other animal is really equipped to do that. Uh, and the, this plant needs that hunt, that hummingbird, and the hummingbird needs this plant. So we learn about the intricate relationships in nature and I just love taking your kids outside to do it. I mean, I'm passionate about making environmental science a reality. I, I live it at home. These are barrels that I'm turning into rain barrels and selling to the community members around here. But I mean, I'm weird about it. I not only love to tell your students about the environment, I like to do my summers that way too. If you're not seeing me teaching in the summer times, I'm probably taking students paddle boarding or tubing or hiking or uh, caving out somewhere out in the wilderness because as you've already known probably uh, I run a summer camp called Ecotech Summer Camp. I am not a normal person. I love being with kids and outdoors with them. So here's the deal. I can't wait to meet your kids face to face. I love when they turn on their cameras so I can see their faces. Sometimes I even celebrate it when a new person turns on their camera. I say, oh my gosh, look what you look like. I had no idea. I'm going to enjoy your kids. They're going to hopefully enjoy me because I don't think that they can uh, help but see that I'm excited to be with them. And I long for the time when we get to get back into the classroom, back at the Southampton Middle School and out into that gorgeous campus that they've got out there. 
it's going to be okay. We're going to make it. This is difficult, but, uh, you know, it is like this right now. So listen, if your kids are having an issue or if you're having an issue, or if you think I've graded them wrong, please email me. I make a lot of mistakes. I got good things about me, but grading and keeping track of details and those kinds of things and technology, uh, using technology to make the most amazing presentation may not be my best stuff. Uh, please don't hesitate to call me and, a and ask me questions and hold me accountable. I welcome it. And um, so I look forward to hearing from you and meeting you too. Uh, if we can, we're gonna try and make a, a, some kind of a field trip later on in the school year when everybody's healthy. And you guys can come as chaperones. Sorry, the whole time I've been teaching and talking about all this stuff, there's this beautiful bluebird that's been playing around on my back fence. Just sneak up on him, see if I can get a good shot of him. He's so pretty. We love these guys because they're diurnal insectivores. That means that they eat insects during the day. I have the bat house to try and encourage bats to come here. And I have the bluebird boxes to encourage bluebirds to come around here. And that's why I mean, it's all because of the insects that I'm trying to get these guys to come in here. Plus, they're beautiful. This is a beautiful variety of a uh, milkweed that we have at our house it's called a butterfly flower and uh, it really does bring in the butterflies i even saw some monarch caterpillars on this this year i'm going to save the seeds which uh, my students will know as offspring for them to plant when we get back to school Well, it's fall and it's time for back to school night. This is the strangest back to school night I've ever had. I'm used to having my parents in the classroom and I tell them, I'm such an honor to meet you because you love your kids even more than I do. I hardly know your kids yet because I haven't gotten a chance to really meet them. But, you know, it's fall and the leaves are changing colors. That red has always been there. It was just getting its chance now because the chlorophyll is dying. It's getting its chance to shine through. We'll get our chance to shine through.